Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. For this video, I will be sharing with you all how I'm gonna be decluttering and organizing under the sink in my kitchen. It's very cluttery. I have a whole bunch of cleaning products, a whole bunch of stuff that I need to get rid of and I need to organize because when I open up the cabinets, things are all over the place. So I wanna get things organized where when I open it, I'll have easy access to my cleaning products. I purchased an organizer that I think it's gonna help and make a difference. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. To get started with the decluttering or the cleaning under the sink, what I'm going to do or what I always do any place where I'm cleaning, I like to take everything, everything out. That way I know what I need to get rid of, what cleaning products I have too many of, which I haven't been purchasing cleaning products lately and I'm so proud of myself because I knew that in the future I wanted to do a decluttering of under the sink in my kitchen. Every time I would go to the store, I would ask myself, do I really need this cleaning product? Do I have one at home because I don't want to have too many of the same product. I just want to wait till it runs out and then purchase another one. I also don't want to be purchasing so many different cleaners. I just want to stick to maybe one or two, which one of them would be a cleaner that I purchased from the store. And my other one is going to be my, my DIY cleaner that I have at home with vinegar and Dawn dish soap. There has always been a problem under the kitchen sink with the plywood. It looks pretty bad. I think there was a problem with the water dripping. At least this is the way the house was when we moved in. And I always wanted to change it up, but I didn't know how, which is why I would add the liners that you guys, the burgundy ones that you guys saw in the beginning. Now this time I wanted to switch it up. I decided to buy some contact paper and this one is from Amazon. I really liked it because it feels as if as if I would have given the place a clean coat of paint. At least that's what it looks like when you first glance at it. I really liked the way it turned out. Now you have to read the instructions, clean, make sure that you clean well the area where you're going to be applying it. Then you can measure if you'd like, which is something that I would recommend to you guys. Please do measure before cutting. Now this is what was my mistake because I didn't measure exactly. You don't want to undercut. You can always overcut and then cut a little bit more. But if you undercut now, you have woes that sheet of paper that you already cut. What do you guys think? I think it looks great. I'm so happy with the result. Now there are a little bit of bumps here and there. That was expected because the plywood that is in here is pretty bad. So I'm very happy with the results. You can only see the bumps if you're looking at it from a very close distance. I bought an organizer on Amazon, which I will link it in the description box below. This is an organizer. It can also be used as a shoe rack or it can be used as an under the sink organizer, not only for your kitchen, but also you can use it for your bathroom. I like that it's adjustable so you can make it smaller or bigger, whatever it's up to your liking. I, the instructions for, the instructions were honestly very easy to set up. I'm the kind of girl where I don't like reading the instructions. I don't have the patience for it. I have patience for other things, but this is something that I'm not too good at. So my husband's the one that always does this for me. But this time I decided to do it on my own because I thought it was going to be easy and it really was. It was so simple, so easy. I did it so fast. Now I set it up. I put everything of the screws and everything now I didn't know that it wasn't gonna fit because of the the food dispenser inside so I had to pull it up so the f the food dispenser now I had to put it apart and then put it once again Put it back in its place once it was under the sink now i had to clean all of my organizers 
to see which ones I would be using. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to use all of them since I wasn't going to, since I didn't know what was going to fit, what was going to be a good size to fit on the organizer. So I put a couple of them in. Now, first of all, I decided to clean them. I don't know how they got so dirty. They had a whole bunch of crumbs or I don't even know what it had. I don't even know why if these, if these organizers are always placed in the same place. But anyways, I decided to clean them up with a rag and with my DIY cleaner, which is vinegar, water, and Dawn dish soap. I forgot to introduce to you guys our newest member of the family. We have a cute little puppy. He's a Boston Terrier and his name is Toby. And you will probably be seeing him around in many of my cleaning videos because he just likes to hang around. This was something that I was really worried about. I thought that my organizers weren't going to fit. Now once I knew which ones did fit, I decided to put stuff inside them. I was going to label them, but I ended up not labeling them because I wasn't sure if this was going to be the place where I was going to leave them for quite a while. So I decided to just organize, well first of all declutter, right? Get rid of everything that I wasn't going to use anymore, trash, boxes. I decluttered and then I'm going to be organizing which I'm going to be using these organizers that I purchased from Dollar Tree for one dollar. I'm going to be putting my cleaners inside the cleaners that I always use. I like to have things handy like in place like once I or open my drawers I want to know that my stuff is there for easy to grab whenever I'm cleaning. I honestly do feel that I have way too much stuff, but as I mentioned, I'm going to start getting rid of things and I'm not going to be repurchasing a couple of the cleaners. So I do plan on just staying with just a couple of them. I don't want to have 
so many things anymore i'm trying i really am you guys if you guys have watched my other videos my cleaning videos or my decluttering and organizing videos that i have shared with you guys i've mentioned to you guys that i'm in the process of cleaning my home taking things out giving things away that i no longer use so this is all a process and i'm doing it little by little step by step i'm not doing it all in one day i'm doing it in a way that gives me time throughout the day and also i'm doing it in a way that it stays clean and hopefully organized that way i can find things easily easier the next time around when i'm looking for something i'm going to be using these command hooks just to hook things that i'm going to be using on the regular for example the brush that i'm going to be using to clean my pots and pans just a couple of different things that I wasn't sure where to place them and I thought that using the command hooks would be a great place. That way I just open the cabinet and I know that my cleaning products are there available whenever I need them. I hope that you guys find this video helpful. I really do hope that this video helped you in any way. I hope it motivated you. If you would like to know where I purchased the organizers that I have, I'm going to link them in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for staying around to the end of this video. You guys don't know how much I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you for the likes, for maybe one or two comments that I will be getting in the future. I really do thank you for that. I really do appreciate it. I love reading your comments and I really do appreciate each and every one of you that does take the time to give me a like and also to comment. May God bless you all and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.